Digitalization is such a big topic. We've been working on it for so many years now. I think where the industry stands right now is it's still quite early. Companies have approached it in many different ways. So on one hand, you have a lot of smaller companies, particularly around the North America uh, environment that have been on, working on very specific projects on fairly localized uh, areas. You've got operational uh, projects and efficiencies that have been uh, approached with data science and analytics for some time. This would go back to preventative maintenance on infrastructure. But overall, I think we're still quite early in this. And, and you see that in the way that different companies are approaching the digitalization question. So you have very large uh, EMP companies, uh, IOCs, that have taken sort of a blanket approach and said, we want to get digitalized. And then you go all the way down the chain to some very specific companies that are working, again, as I said, on just a very small project. So the successes are a bit spotty. They're out there for sure. We see many case examples of uh, hundreds of millions of dollars that have been saved. And as we've seen post the downturn in the upstream business, uh, the costs um, that companies are uh, uh, burdened with have come down significantly. And a lot of this has to do with digitalization efforts. But having said that, so that's the positive, but most companies will admit that they're doing a lot of proof of concepts. They're still in this phase of trying to figure it out. Some companies uh, have taken on large numbers of data scientists and, and that approach. Others are taking geoscientists and petroleum engineers and giving them some data science tools as part of the di digitalization effort. So it's quite a, a, a smorgasbord of, of approach here. I think that what is still the fundamental issue underlying all this, however, is the somewhat mundane and boring issue of having access to all the data in a format that is complete, fully QA'd, so that uh, companies at any level can ask the questions that they need to ask uh, using machine learning, artificial intelligence, but data is still fairly siloed. And this is a, a challenge that this industry has had for 30 to 50 years. We still find pockets of data. And some of the successes I mentioned in digitalization, artificial intelligence have been in, still in a very pocketed approach where for this area or this particular workflow, they've, the data has been cleaned up and QA'd. But until we get all the data uh, accessible in a manner that is ready for analytics, uh, we're really not going to see these tremendous breakthroughs. So everybody's moving data up into the cloud. Uh, we have many people building data lakes, but you have to get it into a format at the, at the core level that allows you to query data. And, and this will be huge breakthrough because you will now be querying different types of data and data types that were never accessible to any particular function within an EMP company before. Suddenly, you'll be able to sit down and bring in finance and transportation, as well as subsurface um, geology and geophysics issues, as well as global economics factors. This is what's really going to open it up. But until that data is uh, cleaned up, made relatable, and made accessible, I think that we're still very much in the beginning of that. I think one of the biggest and most novel themes that you're seeing today in our industry has to do with a, a new openness and a new partnering concept. We see more and more companies uh, working together, and this is somewhat because of the energy transition and the pressure on the upstream EMP industry, the economics uh, that go along with that. There's a need today to move faster, to make data and applications and information uh, more open. So I, I think that's one of the most interesting things we see here as opposed to uh, the decades behind us. Uh, this is being impacted heavily by the big three with Microsoft and Amazon and Google. Um, they've come into the upstream EMP space in a big way, bringing uh, a certain amount of energy, if you will, uh, to move fast and be agile and, and a, a comfort with managing large data. On top of that, you see uh, the need 
for standardization again. So this industry, we've gone through many attempts to standardize data in the past and content in order to move faster and not get siloed. This is uh, very much on, uh, on the menu right now in terms of a, a, a new effort to standardize. And the difference now is that you will see both EMP operators, but also service companies all very interested in making this happen, uh, really in a way that I've never seen in the past 30 years in the industry. So um, partnering, openness, moving fast, uh, standardization across uh, the board. I mean, these are the key things that are happening today. Uh, and it's a necessity because without it, uh, you will not be efficient. And if you are not efficient in the um, very much lower for longer scenario that we see as a backdrop to the energy transition, um, companies just aren't going to be successful. So I think the industry, we all understand that and we're working uh, in a much better way than we have before.